Opera. After racing, things got to really fascinating because Aidan O'Brien unleashed a whole host of his classic hopefuls, including Camelot, for a race course gallop. It was a sort of limb-stretching exercise, uh, Jace, wasn't it? And um, Camelot there, Joseph O'Brien up with the blue cap on, moved incredibly well in, in, in this... Uh, it wasn't really a flat-out gallop, Jason. It was just, just a... Listen, you know how much from a... <laughs> When they actually get to the race course, they've brought them up here in race conditions. They're away from home, it raises their game, it sets them about their business, and they always improve dramatically. Sometimes they can become a little bit lethargic at home, can't they? You know, mm. same old surroundings, same old routine. Um, and, of course, Aidan, given his orders, he wasn't able to wing along beside them as he does in the truck up at Bally Doyle and give them orders. Um, but they all knew exactly what they were doing, and it, it was a Pleasing, a pleasing enough race course gallop, exactly what we wanted to see from Camelot. And it whets the appetite, doesn't it, seeing him move through like that, with yeah, Joseph sitting it, motionless. Such a big batch, though, Matt, Mike, mm, wasn't yeah. it? You know, all sorts thrown into the mix, and um, looks to have a stranglehold. When you look at the, the favourites for the 1,000, 2,000, Derby, Oaks and everything, they're all O'Brien. Mm. Well, let's hear from Aidan now, because afterwards he had a chat with David Duggan, uh, starting with discussion about uh, Camelot, and would he go for the 2,000 guineas, perhaps? Happy uh, day of it, yeah, he just cantered up, but uh, looked nice and Joseph seemed to be happy with him. The ground out there was quite good for these today, was that the reason they went, maybe did a little bit more than they normally would? It was lovely ground and like obviously we're delighted to be able to do it with him, but uh, listen, they just uh, went down, I think, seven and a half and just swung back nicely, you know, so it just, just did a nice nice bit on the bridle, really. He looked in pretty good terms of himself beforehand, Camelot, the trip to the race course is probably going to just take that edge off him, will it? Yeah, and no, listen, obviously it'll, it'll um, hopefully just relax him and listen, he, he seemed very relaxed and everything. It's just a day away really and it just makes the train a little bit easier at home. And you're happy with him heading to Newmarket? At the moment uh, he he's, uh, seemed to be fine and uh, listen, we'll go home and talk about where he's going to start or what he's going to start in now. So, um, um, But everything looks fine so far. Looking at the second lot, that was um, maybe wading and kissed all finishing together. Um, she looked a million dollars, maybe. She really did take the eye on that uh, particular piece of work. Yeah, I think so. Joseph was happy as well. Um, so was, uh, I think, uh, Ryan as well was happy on, with wading and uh, Pat was happy with kiss. So they, they all seemed to go fine, uh, David. Do you think she's improved a great deal from two to three and she was pretty awesome at two? Um, maybe. Yeah, listen, she's done very well physically, um, but obviously um, it'll be interesting when she comes home and where she, wherever we decide to run her, I suppose, and how much she improves onto that. But she seems to be fine and like, you'd be happy with where she is at the moment, David. Would you be thinking more in terms of here rather than Newmarket for her, uh, Guineas-wise? Well, uh, listen, obviously Newmarket is the first possibility for them all. Obviously it's, it's before here, you know, but... Um, I think all those options are open to him and like, obviously we'll see how they come out with today's work and in the next week or 10 days I, we'll kind of hopefully try to build a picket target for them. And just looking at the final bunch that went through their acceleration, um, a newcomer, a relative newcomer to the stable uh, seemed very happy, but a power was a little bit off the pace. Yeah, he just dropped in, uh, uh, he was just following up, um, um, he missed a little bit of... Uh, a time after Christmas, nothing major, so he was just following up, wasn't asked anything, but I think Ryan was, seemed happy enough with him. And of the lot of them there, was there anything that really filled the heart or were you just happy with the way they all generally welt? Yeah, they absolutely. Listen, you saw like all the big horses as, as well as we all did, so they, they seemed to be happy and the lads were happy with him and I don't think any of them really disappointed, but obviously I hope that they wouldn't do that doing that, that pace work, you know, so listen, it, it looks fine, so if they... I'll come out of it okay now, it'll be a great day's work. And you dispatched a big 